Hey everyone, this is First One Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panners. Quick update on Irma that a lot of people are seeing online on social media. You saw it out of the Bahamas first yesterday. You're seeing it out of Florida today. Is the so-called ocean going away or being sucked out? It's actually, that's not what's going on. It happens quite a bit in strong hurricanes, nor'easters. It really depends on which way the wind is blowing and where you are. So let me kind of show you this example on my little pad right here. So this is the coast. This is the water out here. This would be the ocean. This is Florida. And the hurricane is approaching, spinning counterclockwise. So initially, as the storm is approaching the west coast of Florida, or if you're north of the track, the wind is blowing very strongly offshore. So what's going on there, and I'm going to use my leaf blower as an example, is the, the wind is actually pushing the water away. You can see that it'll totally dry it out. So as long as the wind is blowing that direction, the water will stay away. But what happens when the wind stops, the water rushes back. Now, when the wind changes direction and starts blowing back towards the coast, it starts pushing the storm surge back towards the coast. So that water flowing back towards the coast is gonna become a huge storm surge. So remember, as the circulation is moving north, the winds are going like that, but as the circulation gets up here, the winds start coming back around the other way. So the rotation and wind flow will push the water back towards the coast. So while you see the water going down now, it is gonna come rushing back four, maybe five times higher than it was before the storm came in.